Hey crystal lovers, Ashley here with the Love and Light School of Crystal Therapy and in this training video I'm going to teach you how to identify your violet and purple stones. So when you have your tumbled stones and they're all mixed together, it can be really hard to identify them sometimes. So in this video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks for how to tell apart your different purple tumbled stones. So let's start with the most common tumbled purple stone, which is amethyst. Now amethyst is a transparent to translucent variety of quartz that is purple in color due to iron inclusions. It's found in tons and tons of different places all across the globe. India, Brazil, Africa, Asia, Central America, it's everywhere. But this stone um, can be a little tricky to identify because it comes in a few different varieties. Um, so most of the time it's totally transparent, really, really nice and see-through, but it can also sometimes just be translucent. So um, especially when it's darker in color or when it has the white chevron banding that's so common to chevron amethyst, then it can just be a little bit more in the translucent kind of appearance rather than transparent. So amethyst is one of the most common stones. Most new age stores and rock shops and places online will sell some variety of amethyst. Now it can range in color from a pale violet or lilac color all the way to a deep dark almost black purple and I just love the variation in amethyst because I think it really kind of changes the energy that we feel from the stone. Now there's also ametrine. Ametrine is actually a combination of amethyst and citrine together in one stone and it's created when just parts of the amethyst stone are heated within the earth turning them into yellow or golden citrine. So these stones um, sometimes you have to look at a little bit more closely before you really realize that they have that beautiful amber or goldish color uh, mixed in and swirled with the purple amethyst. and. You see these especially coming from South America, particularly Bolivia is where a lot of the highest quality ametrine is from. And in fact, it's also known as Bolivianite because it is so commonly found uh, in this location. Now, there are also some stones that are not quite so transparent. They're more in the opaque genre of stones. So two crystals that people get confused all the time for one another are charoite and sugilite. So charoite comes from Russia. The best charoite actually comes from the region near Siberia. And this is a deep purple stone that has swirls of beautiful almost pearlescent lavender throughout it and it sheens uh, and it shimmers, which is really cool. It kind of shimmers and you see these little swirls kind of moving and dancing in the light. And it's an absolutely amazing, amazing stone. And there isn't too much else that looks like charoite. I think a, a good comparison would be seraphinite, the green stone that's named for the angelic realm. Um, it looks very similar except it's green and charoite is purple. Now, then that brings us to sugilite, and a lot of people get these mixed up because they're both high value stones, they're both a little less common, but sugilite or sugilite, depending on how you pronounce it, um, is really quite different looking than charoite. So sugilite often has black or red splotches in it from some manganese, along with a magenta or bright violet color. Now, it comes from South Africa. It's a very, very high quality stone when you see that it has more of the bright violet in it, but most of what's available on the market now has a lot of that black or even the red colors mixed in. It is considered a slightly lower grade of the stone rather than that beautiful magenta purple color, but it is uh, what's available on the market now because I've heard a lot of reports of this stone kind of getting tapped out um, at the mines. Now that also brings us to another purple stone called stickatite. Now you probably heard me talk about this stone in excuse me in the in the video about green crystals where I was mentioning Atlantisite which is the combination of green serpentine and purple stickatite. So stickatite comes from Tanzania. It's absolutely beautiful and it's kind of a chalky purple color. It's a medium purple and it's kind of like this um, 
really interesting, almost looks like candy. It looks like it has a candy coating on it. And this is a really beautiful stone. You don't see it tumbled on its own very often, but it is just kind of starting to hit the market that way. And that brings me to the last violet stone I wanted to discuss with you, which is lapidolite. So lapidolite is actually a beautiful form of mica. It's a mauve purple to violet color of mica and although it's usually found in thin sheets right like most micas are you sometimes see it in more of a massive form now lapidolite can range more into the pink tones as well when it's a really beautiful gem grade variety it's translucent to transparent um, but a lot of lapidolite that's available is, and especially in the massive form is actually opaque. Now when it's in the massive opaque form you'll see these little tiny glittery bits um, all on the surface of the stone but when it's in that gemmy variety it's actually somewhat um, transparent or translucent, translucent like I mentioned but only from one angle. So if you're looking down at the sheets you won't be able to see through the stone but if you tilt them to the side and look through the sheets then you can actually see light coming through. And these didn't used to be available tumbled, but you see a lot of hand polished pieces now on the market and they're very expensive, but they are amazing. So I hope that helps give you some tips into some of the common violet and purple stones that you might encounter. And until next time, I'm Ashley Levy of the Love and Light School of Crystal Therapy, Crystal Blessings.